Hello everyone, I'm Julia Piquet with this week's edition of the U.S. Motorsport Report. It was a great day for Hendrick Motorsports at Daytona on Sunday with William Byron winning the pole for the Daytona 500 and leading Hendrick Motorsports drivers to sweep the top four positions during the first qualifying session of the 2019 NASCAR Cup Series season. Alex Bowman was second with Jimmy Johnson third and Chase Elliott fourth after the two-round qualifying session. Only Byron and Bowman have their starting positions secured with the rest of the starting lineup to be determined in a pair of qualifying races for the Cup Series drivers to be held Thursday night. Johnson followed up by winning the clash race after he made contact with Paul Menard that triggered a 17-car accident just before the rain returned and forced NASCAR to end the race just past the halfway point. Menard was leading when Johnson moved to the inside of him on the backstretch near turn three. The two made contact in front of the field, setting off a 17-car accident. During the caution period, rain returned for the third time, prompting NASCAR to call the race. And in IndyCar, the series returned to WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca in the first test in 12 years for the top-ranked U.S. open-wheel cars at the famed road course in Monterey, California. Former Formula One driver Max Chilton put Carlin Racing on top of the 21 entrance before the session was ended by torrential rain soon after the halfway point. Rookie Felix Rosenqvist was second fastest for Chip Ganassi Racing, while Ryan hunter Ray, Jack Harvey and Alexander Rossi completed the top five. The IndyCar teams will not get a chance to test at Laguna Seca again until the Thursday before the season finale, held there in mid-September. That's it for this week's edition of the U.S. Motorsport Report. I'm Julia Piquet, and see you next time.